It was late afternoon, and hot air was gently blowing through the city. An eerie silence fell over the sleeping city of Mecca. Yet, in one house, the sound of moaning came from a woman in pain. You see, Hazra Khadija, the dear wife of the Prophet, was preparing for the arrival for her daughter into the world. Hazrat Khadija's pain increased with every passing moment. No one was even there to help her through her birth pains. Since she was the only Muslim woman in the city, all the unbelieving women had left her all alone in her pain. Can you imagine how lonely she must have felt? All of a sudden, the skies of Mecca split. Four heavenly women came to Khadija. Sarah, the wife of Prophet Ibrahim. Asiya, the good wife of the Pharaoh. Comfort her, Maryam, the mother of Prophet Isa. And Kulthum, the sister of Prophet Musa. They were all sent by Allah to help Hazrat Khadija and comfort her as the daughter entered the world. Hazrat Khadija gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Fatima, a name that Allah had chosen for her. The Holy Prophet was so happy and loved his daughter very much. Even when she was just a child, the Prophet would always stand up in respect and kiss her hand when she entered the room. Whenever he traveled, he made sure that Sayyidah Fatima would be the last person to whom he would bid farewell. And when he would return home, she would be the first one he would visit. He would also be heard saying, Fatima is a part of me. Years later, Hazar Khatija became ill and passed away. The Prophet was very sad and now it was just him and Sayyidah Fatima. During those difficult days, Sayyida Fatima would show even more love and affection towards her father. When the unbelievers would hurt her father, she would help bandage his wounds. The Prophet's love for her continued to increase with each passing day. People began to wonder why the Prophet loved and respected his daughter so much. One day, Allah told Prophet Muhammad to tell the people of Mecca that they should call a messenger of Allah instead of Muhammad. Everyone, even Sayyidah Fatima, said to her father, O Messenger of Allah. He replied to her, O my daughter, this order of Allah does not include you. You are from me and I am from you. Please call me dear father. These words make Allah happier and bring joy to my heart. Years passed and Sayyidah Fatima became a young lady. It was now time for her to get married. The rich leaders from Mecca came to ask her for her hand in marriage. But no one was good enough to marry her. Sayyidah Fatima married the only person who was worthy of her, Imam Ali. Sayyidah Fatima and Imam Ali lived in a peaceful and loving home. Allah blessed them with two beautiful children, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain. Even though taking care of her children and doing all the household chores was difficult, Sayyidah Fatima never complained. One day, the mystery of Sayyidah Fatima's name came to light. It happened when Prophet Muhammad once asked Imam Ali, Do you know why my daughter is named Fatima? Imam Ali replied, No, O Messenger of Allah. I don't know. Please tell me. The Prophet explained, her name Fatima means the one who separates. She will save the followers by separating them from the punishment on the Day of Judgment. She is the best woman and has a very high status in the eyes of Allah. Her father is the Prophet of Allah. Her husband is the first Imam. Her two sons are also Imams. Also, all the Imams are her grandsons. So you see, she is the daughter of an infallible. The wife of an infallible 
a mother of two infallibles, and she's also infallible herself. This made it very clear to everyone why Prophet loved his daughter Sayyida Fatima so much. Ya Allah, for the sake of Sayyida Fatima, please separate us from the punishment of the hereafter.